So this video is about why there is gold in the Bering Sea. And it's not just from your mom's house. I don't know why I'm saying that. Okay. Anyway, That's we funny. can cut that out. <laughs> uh, when the Ring of Power was made, Sauron like used a bunch of gold to made it to make it. But like after he made the ring itself, all the gold shards left over from the ring freaking like exploded in the Mount Doom volcano and shot all the way over to um, Nome, Alaska area. And that's why there's gold in the Bering Sea. Okay, we're gonna go through four popular theories as to why there's gold in the Bering Sea. Theory one, stardust. So some of the gold miners back in 1899 thought that the gold came from meteor showers. They actually had a super concentrated form of tundra bog weed that they were smoking back then, because this is not correct. <laughs> but it's a great theory. It's, it's awesome. Can you imagine gold comes from the stars? And for some reason, the meteors were only falling in like one area. There's like a hyper meteor shower. Everywhere else didn't really get it as much. Wait, have you ever found uh, any meteors underwater? No, I did find a meteor in Nome um, on top of Mount Anvil, Anvil Mountain. It was like a black pumice rock that weighed almost nothing. I think, I think that's, I think that's, or it came from a volcano, hard to say. I think the gold was in a big mountain and when the ocean came in, it eroded the mountain and washed it out to sea, but the gold just fell straight down. And so what we're looking at, when we see gold all over the place, it's like all the gold from a mountain is straight down and all the dirt is gone. Another old miner theory is that the gold was coming from the ocean and the waves were washing the gold on shore. The problem with that theory is that it just defies gravity and physics and what we know of geology. Um, gold moves down, it doesn't move up. It doesn't go psh. You can't just like throw it up, puke it up on shore. That's not what gold does. It's always moving down. It goes wherever the gravity takes it. It's also not as fun as the stardust theory. Another old miner theory is that the gold came from like massive explosions and eruptions on the volcanoes on the Aleutian chain. So like the ring of fire there, they just like all went off and just like hurled gold out everywhere. Um, the last theory and, and like the pretty, like the most viable one I think, and what, what geologists think is that um, basically the rivers e eroded the mother load, the load source for all the gold in the mountains, and then it slowly washed um, the gold down to the oceans. And we also know that when there's big, there's huge storms, uh, gold erodes from the tundra and leaches into the beach. And that's where those like super post-storm gold cleanups come from. And it's evidenced by the fact that the biggest gold deposits come directly from the mountain in front of Nome, Anvil Mountain. And so erosion on that mountain uh, eventually leads to the gold showing up in the Bering Sea to be sucked up by yours truly. <laughs>